everyone. I must share this testimony with you. It was, it was through a few days, uh, a week ago. I'm not going to miss it this time. Uh, I, I will tell you because it was really interesting. <coughs> I would call this, I would call this testimony, the bean soup, and you will see why. Uh, about a week ago, I went to. A week ago, I went to. Went to play with some horses. Went to went to do some work, uh, 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 which I don't consider as work. Uh, just to prepare them, prepare them for for life with the humans, and. Uh, while I was there, it was at a place uh, of our, one of our sisters in Christ. And uh, while I was there, uh, at a point of the day, uh, I saw a bean soup. It just came up uh, in front of my eyes. And uh, I wasn't hungry or anything, it, it just came up, so <clears throat> it became interesting. When I see something like this, which comes up as a maybe a word of knowledge or something for the future, usually it's just in me, and then and then and then I try to pursue it, try to go on it as an information from above through the spirit of Christ, and then uh, all through the day. This time I was I was hearing it. I was I was asking people. Uh, anybody that came came around, I was asking them what did they what did they make for lunch, what did they have for lunch. I was asking everybody, which I which I don't usually do. I just keep quiet and then and then when I'm there, maybe I get a signal and then and then I ask the person, so or tell the person that that it's that person that uh, God wants to do something with. So, this time I was asking everybody, I remember that somebody from the neighborhood while I was preparing the horses, I, I heard somebody leaving, and I heard that, oh, okay dear, I, when I will come back, it'd be really nice that when we will, we will have that bean soup. So, but nobody else heard it that way. But I got excited any anytime, or every time that I, I heard something like this or I saw somebody and maybe it's this person or that person and when I asked them then I, I sometimes I just said well you're not lucky today we're not going to have lunch with you today <laughs> so as the day went on there was one of our sisters that was really heavily on my heart uh, to visit her because we were in that region in, in the next next town so I called her what's happening if she is around and uh, and then she said that she's sitting at a doctor and she was really she was really disappointed because she got healed of cancer but now uh, now her her latest test results were not really good. So, and then I got, I got a bit, not disappointed, but angry at the devil that it must be a lie, because it cannot be. I felt it in my heart that it, it, it's just not right, it's a lie. <clears throat> so, but anyhow, I asked her if, if she made any lunch, and, and if she did so, then what did she make? And she just said that, well, she's really sorry, but in the last two, three days, she was so under herself that, that she couldn't couldn't really make anything. She, she, there is nothing, but, but she assured me that she will. And I said, oh, you don't have to, uh, you know, please don't feel obliged to do it. So, so then, then we went to her place, and then we went up to her with one of our brothers, one of my brothers, and uh, 
And then as I was washing my hand, I hear them talking uh, and she was really excusing herself that, that she really wanted to make some pancakes for us. But, uh, and, and, and just look at it, that all the eggs and the, and the milk and a little bit of flour is here, but there wasn't enough flour, so, so she couldn't make pancakes. And I just, as I was washing my hands, I was just saying, that, oh wow, well, I'm so sad that it's not her. But then she carried on and she said, but I went to the shop, you see, if she wanted to make some pancakes, then all she would have had to buy is flour. But she didn't buy flour, she was just standing there and she was just thinking, what should I make, what should I make? And then she said, well, it just came to her mind, of course, from outside. And I felt like that all the angels around her and the Holy Spirit had to work on her not to miss this <clears throat> and uh, make something else than pancake and then so then we could have this godly appointment that was well prepared before so so what happened is that she says she's standing there and uh, she said she had this thought that she, and nobody eats it in her family she had this thought that she will make we call it chili beans uh, it's like chili con carne and it was really dense and then I started leaping in joy that it's her and I was really happy for her so it was her um, and of course at the place where I was uh, working with horses uh, there was this this lady there and when I asked her what did she have for for uh, for lunch she said that she had she had some kind of a soup and then my my friend asked her if it was uh, if it had any beans in it but I said it's not beans in the soup. It had, it, I saw something really dense, full of bits, full of bit beans, and uh, that was it. It was really dense, full of bit beans. It wasn't soup, but it, but it was beans anyhow. So, so I felt great about it, and uh, and when we were sitting down, I just said, "Well, then we're just gonna have a feast now." Uh, so just give me double portion and. And then we started eating and then she said, oh, well, by the way, by the way, the doctor where she went to, the doctor came out and she, she brought a second report, different from the one that got her disappointed. And this report said that uh, she has no trace of cancer in her body. So then, we just praised the Lord, we just leaped even more. So we just had to be there, we just had to go there. Uh, just like in in the days of the apostles. We just went to this house and we stayed there. And actually we went to sleep afterwards and then we stayed there eventually. Uh, we got friends with her children, with her family and then they gave us room to stay there and then food and etc. And then she actually told us that uh, she started really believing in Jesus Christ when like six, seven years ago Jesus appeared, appeared to her in her kitchen. So, so she really has a strong faith, uh, very strong faith in Christ. Her son has a faith too, but her daughter doesn't really. And then we have been to got into a conversation, and then I was telling her some stuff, and then God showed me to show her a fo uh, some footage of a of a film uh, called uh, Risen, and I, just, and I just showed her some some parts of it, and then without me putting any pressure on her which we shouldn't actually, it's, it's the Holy Spirit that's doing the job. 
she just said to her mother that, oh, I want to see this movie, the whole movie. And then I thought, okay, they need to watch it on the big television. But can can they connect maybe maybe the phone to it or something? But they, they couldn't. So I thought that we need to get a cable. And then I, I saw I saw it that, okay, we should get it the next day so then she could watch it as soon as possible. So she said that she's going to buy it, but I felt it on my heart that we need to buy it. So next day, next morning, uh, we went there into this electronic uh, storehouse and then my bro went to take the car uh, to the washing place to wash it, to hand wash it, and I went to, into this store. Uh, I was talking some of, to, to some of the sellers there, some of the guys there about Jesus, uh, some of them didn't believe, but at least I at least I, I talked about Jesus to them. There has to be a first time, because there wasn't a f first time in my life, or very late, or at least they didn't present the Jesus Christ that I know now uh, to me. So it's it's paramount on my on my heart to do this, and then do whatever I can. So present just to sow or water or pray. Or ask the Holy Spirit to fill them, or heal them, or baptize them in water. What, whatever is my step in the line. Uh, so, so I talked to two guys, and then after all, I, I couldn't find that cable. But then I bought some earphones. It's a thing for me. I, I keep losing it and uh, buy it, and then I bought one that is an older type. And anyhow, I went to the cashier. And then I found out that this is the reason why I needed to buy it so that I could talk to her and then do what happened next. I went to her and then I was standing there and then and then I asked her I asked her if we're going to meet in heaven and then you know it's a good start of, of a conversation because then they will answer something and then we can carry on with the conversation. And then, uh, and then as soon as I started, I asked her if she if she has anything that I could pray for. It was amazing. Uh, it wasn't at that moment, but it's just it's just amazing. Uh, and then suddenly I felt a really nice breeze, a sort of sweetness, like love, on on my on on two or three of my fingers, on the back of my hand, on my left hand, and then. And then I just started smiling because I knew it was God showing me. And then I asked her, I asked her if uh, if if she has any problem with her left hand, and she said, "Oh no." And why am I asking? And I told her because because of this, because I'm a son of I'm the son of a God of the God of God. And and then we pray for people in the name of Jesus Christ, and they get healed. And all that, and then, and then she said that she doesn't have a problem. And then, like ten seconds later, she goes, "Well, I do now. I feel something in my left hand." And then I said, "Well, can I can I pray for that now? Now that you are like this?" She said. Who are you? And I told her again <laughs> that we are the children of God, and then this is what we do. We just carry on with the with the ministry of Jesus Christ. This is the reason why we live here on earth. Still, otherwise we are heavenly citizens, and we don't belong here. We are representatives of God. So then I took her hand. I prayed for her. She allowed me. And she kept saying that, well, the line is getting bigger, and then there's no time, and da 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 da. da. But, but then I told her that just think about this: that we have 
30, 40, 50, 70 years on this earth and then we have eternity so just start thinking about on the things that is that puts more weight on the scale and I think eternity is a little bit more it's just a tiny little bit more so then so then what happened is that I prayed for her like 10, 15 seconds and then she just she just opened her eyes big and then uh, I said what happened she said well it's gone she asked me again who am I I told her again and then and then and then she started jumping up and down and I said what's happening she said what's happening to my arm I said why she said because she feels some some electricity some heat running up and down on her arm and I said that's the Holy Spirit that's God healing you and that's why you don't have any pain anymore so you just thank him and just remember just remember always what happened today that he is real he is alive and he healed your hand and he knows everything about you that's what he wanted to prove today and he wants you home and he wants you to, to follow him because that takes you eternity so and then she said I said make sure that you remember and she said well after this I will remember I will remember so she was happy I got really happy and I knew that heaven was happy so then you know it's worthwhile to go into a store to to experience this it's really worthwhile there's there's nothing there's nothing worthwhile more than letting Jesus out just acting Jesus out so and I went outside I phoned my brother where is he with my car and he said he is still in the washing place he said that he is helping two women there because there is a their car broke down and he says well come because probably they need some help too from above so I went there and as soon as I arrived there right away I didn't even hesitate I just jumped there and asked them do you have anything that I could pray for because we pray for people and they got healed because Jesus wants to heal them and he wants them home and he wants them to be connected and, and he wants them to believe in him that he is alive and real and they said well no they're all right and I felt it on my heart that it's not really true that they don't have any problems if you know you get this you get this feeling and a couple of minutes later it became true that uh, I felt right so my bro was working on the on the battery or they were doing something on the battery that's all I saw but in the meantime I was just giving testimonies talking about some amazing miracles and healing testimonies and what Jesus did in my life and then uh, and then suddenly this time I felt pain in my in my left elbow so I said doesn't anybody have any pain in, in their in their in their elbows and suddenly the mother of the daughter who was there the mother said well I do well I remember that a couple of a minute a couple of minutes earlier she said that she doesn't have any problems so well that's Satan that's a spiritual war but you know I don't get hooked I don't get hung up on it I just carry on whatever's next so I said okay can I pray for that I prayed for that once they didn't get healed prayed for that twice and then well got tempered a little bit and also my bro had a problem with his uh, elbow that got healed so and then and then I started sort of noticing that there is something happening now because uh, the bro said that now all you have to do is get in the car but you will have to start the engine you will have to ignite with your other hand that's what he said I knew that it was I felt it that it was gonna be a prophecy it was from God because normally you don't ask somebody to go to to unite like this you know cross 
and then she's and then the lady said she didn't know that she's actually stepping out in faith and she said well then I have to st sit in in the in in the chair next to next to mine and then she started walking there and as she sat in the car I thought I told my bro that uh, well before they leave when she well before they leave her elbow will get healed and then she ignited the the engine and right away it started so we started jumping in joy so it's just we shouldn't think when we see something when it comes in front of us a picture a whisper something an impression a word something then just just say it out and then it doesn't matter just like a child say it out uh, we can say stupid thing, things very seriously too so then why not say out you know anything loud that comes to us and then most of the time than not it comes it comes out right so so the car started so the car got healed oh before that uh, my bro said that we'll put our hands on the car and then and, the, and then the lady went well laying on the hands on the car too and we said well do you know where this do you know anything about it and then she said well and she heard about it so so she was she was in knowledge of it a little bit at least so anyhow the car was running and then she gets out and then I asked her right away so how's your arm I said lift it and then just start trying it and she started it and then and then she just said well it's, it doesn't hurt anymore so we hugged them and we just blessed them and well they got blessed already and they will never forget this for sure 100% they will never forget this encounter because it was Jesus because we were you know we were saying that we came in the name of Jesus Christ we did everything in the name of Jesus Christ so it was amazing there's nothing you know, more happy than this and then and then we left them and then we went we came away and then I took my bro to the train and then I went back to the horse place because I felt like that I needed to go back give some more hand because it was the next day give some more hand to those horses and, and I did and there was that lady that was there the day before and uh, who had the lunch and then we asked her if she had any bean in her soup so I could tell her all these testimonies that what happened from this from this bean soup story that came out a whole chain of of beautifully constructed and prepared testimonies and and, uh, and and touches from from heaven so I encourage I encourage every one of you to step out and uh, and just be bold because it's not you it's heaven behind you and uh, so then let people know through through you talking to them that Jesus is real he died for all of us and and just let them be touched let them be touched by Jesus uh, somebody somebody thank God didn't hold it back from you they testified to you so then just sow seeds and then and then the Holy Spirit can work on it God bless all of you love all of you bye